Hello and welcome back to another Python 3 by example tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. And in today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at <clears throat> setting up a basic class based WSGI or Web Server Gateway Interface. Um, so in the previous tutorial, right here, we set it up using a function. Now we're going to use a class. The server will basically stay the same. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's create a new file. We'll call it um, uh, class app class app dot py. All right, and in here we're gonna get and start writing our program. First thing we're gonna need to do is be able to access the make server function from the WSGI ref package. So we'll do from uh, WSGI ref dot simple server import make server all right and then we're going to go ahead and create a class uh, basically our class is our web app if you will so if you guys worked with uh, flask or, or django um <clears throat> that's basically what we're building here but ours is very basic because we're going for the most basic wsgi we can build right now so our web app is going to be pretty basic so we'll say class web app that's what we're going to name it uh like that all right, and we'll just put a colon. All right, cool. Next thing we need to do is initialize our uh, object or our class. So we'll define uh, the init uh, method. All right, and we'll say this takes two parameters. First one's going to be environment. All right, and the second one's going to be response. Response. Let's build it. Response. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and set these. So it will be self dot environment environment is equal to environment. There we go. And I spelled that wrong. Awesome. Environment. There we go. And we'll do self dot response is equal to response. All right. And then finally, we'll go ahead and set our, um, our basically our web app up now. We're going to use the iter, um, the I-T-E-R method, because we're going to go ahead and iterate through our project here. So through our web app, I should say. So we'll use the iter build-in method. So we'll go ahead and define that. And we'll say uh, I-T-E-R self. All right. And we're going to set the status to uh, 200, OK, like this. And we'll set uh, response headers like this. And we're basically going to say, hey, our content is HTML. So in there, we'll have a tuple. And we'll have a content type like that. And then comma, and then text lowercase text HTML like that and then in here we'll return response so we'll do self response and I'll pass status like that and our response headers like that and there you go there's our web app uh, actually we got to yield something here since we're using iter we got to yield not return so we'll go ahead and yield a message so we'll use um, yield and we'll say uh, we want to basically pass the same message we did in our previous tutorial it's got to be in a bytes format so b for bytes and we'll say uh, got to be string and then we'll do strong tag and we'll say hello world i just built my first class based WSGI like that close out the strong tag and there you go all right so that's gonna be our message and why is this outside the function what are you talking about oh it's gotta be one over sorry all right <clears throat> and dun -dun -dun -dun. now we'll set up the server so this is our web app and to comply with Peppy we'll move that down one all right so <clears throat> 
Now with the servers, basically the same way we set it up the function based uh, WSGI, we'll just go ahead and say with make server like this, we'll go ahead and pass the uh, hosting as default. And we'll say our port's gonna be 8,000 and our app is gonna be web app like that. And we'll set the variable to as server like that. And then in here we'll set up um, a message that we're gonna return to the user. And we'll say serving on port 8,000. And then we'll do a new line. And here we'll do a visit uh, HTTP and we'll say 127.0.0.1 like that and then colon 8000 and then we'll do another new line and say to kill the server uh, inside a string we'll say control plus C, right? Plus C? Yeah, it's plus C. All right. <clears throat> and then uh, finally, we got to run the server. So we'll do uh, server.serve forever. So we'll serve until we kill it somehow. And we're going to kill it via the terminal. And let's go ahead and run this and make sure it all works. That's from our previous tutorial. So we'll go ahead and get out of there. And ls. And we'll go ahead and do python class app.py. And we got an error. Err instance has no attribute exit. So, oh, I gotta do Python 3 on this computer. So, Python 3 class app.py. There we go. Serving on 8000. Visit this link. So, I'll just go ahead and copy that. And we'll go up here, here, here. Oops, and hit refresh, and there we go. Hello world, I just built my first class-based WSGI. So there you go. Now you know how to build a uh, web server gateway interface using functions, and now you know how to build it using classes. Very simple, all right? <clears throat> In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and extend our knowledge on this and start building out on it. Um, uh, we'll see what we use. We'll either use the basic... Either, we'll either go with a function-based or a class-based. I don't know yet. I haven't really thought about it, but we'll uh, extend out on that. If you guys have any questions or anything you guys want to see, please let us know. Otherwise, we're going to keep moving forward on this. So we'll see you in the next tutorial.